Hi Pisces, this is Mo here. Um, I have your um, a tarot reading for you uh, of your Pisces sun. Um, the tarot reading is called "What Am I Doing with My Life?" Question mark. Um, it's a six card spread, which I've already shuffled the cards and put them out into the spread um, in front of me. So I will read one card at a time and I will, as I turn over the cards, I'll see if there's any more um, information that comes out with several um, turned over at the same time. So it's called, What Am I Doing With My Life Spread? Um, and it's for Pisces suns. You are welcome to watch this if you're a Pisces moon, a Pisces rising, a Gemini rising, a Gemini moon. If you have nothing to do with Pisces, if you know someone who's Pisces, but the best is gonna be Pisces suns. So um, if you're a Pisces moon and you say, oh, this didn't resonate with me, I'm not surprised because this is really for Pisces suns. So what am I doing with my life? The first card is you now. The second card is your fears. The third card is past beneficial influences. The fourth card is past negative influences. The fifth card is I promise myself this, which is what you're going to promise yourself. And the sixth card is the, 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 the this will be the result if you stick through with what you promise yourself. So let's start Pisces. So for the you now, we have the nine of wands. For you now, Pisces, Suns, we have the Nine of Wands. I see that you're very much in your element with the Nine of Wands. I know that wands are a symbol of fire, but I also know that Pisces have a lot of willpower. So with the me now, I see that you're still, um, you're really bringing out the justice in things around you through your willpower. This is a very powerful card, Pisces. Um, the, the nine of wands, as you see, this looks like a statue of justice and you see fire um, on the horizon behind her and um, a sun that is rising. Um, you are very powerful right now, Pisces. And when I say powerful, I mean your willpower is really something else. You are fighting for justice in your life with your um, family, with your well, with your with the well-being of your family, with your friends, with the world, you are really out of your element with um, the fire because Pisces is a water sign, but you are really learning how to um, sort of transition yourself into what you need to be to survive. And I feel like that really is the Pisces spirit. So in the me now, you have the nine of wands and it's about bringing about justice for the people around you because you've always been one to fight for justice. I feel like um, you have really learned to be this nine of wands um, archetype in a very, a very um, powerful way. So Pisces, Suns, your fears. What are your fears? We have the Seven of Hearts. And it was reversed. Um, so that means there's something that we need to pay attention to, Pisces. So I think that your fears are that you are giving out a lot of love with the Seven of Hearts. And um, you wonder if you will be loved in return. Um, because with the Nine of Wands being in your you now position, you have had your heart broken in the past, Pisces, um, fighting for justice, fighting for um, equality, fighting for balance, fighting for a better world. And for your fears, you feel like maybe you're giving too much of yourself, um, but it's not stopping you from, from continuing to give. But I think your main fear is, am I giving too much? Um, the third card is past beneficial influences for Pisces sons. We have the six of hearts. So childhood um, is something that has influenced you right up until this point. Um, siblings, um, remembering times where you were a child and you felt real love. I feel like for Pisces, um, this is a past beneficial influence card. It's about um, remembering those times where you were very childlike, even though you've um, grown up quite a bit, Pisces sons, and you're adults now. Um, I think the past beneficial influences are remembering that you've been consistent all your life. So for the past negative influences, Pisces suns, we have the Princess of Pentacles. Um, so Pentacles can be a spiritual suit and also an earth suit. Um, so this is the past negative influences. Um, I feel like 
you think that crying was a negative thing to do because you feel like you have to be strong and in touch with your physical self and you have to keep plowing forward. Um, but I think that's a past negative influence on you. The idea that if you show your emotions, you are no longer being a strong human being. That's a past negative influence for you. But um, if you promise yourself this, Pisces, we'll see how the result will come out. The King of Swords, promise yourself this, that you will tell yourself the truth with the King of Swords, um, the Swords being the suit of the mind. So, so the idea that you will tell yourself the truth in every situation, that you will remember that your past beneficial influence being the six of hearts, you will remember that you've always been a loving individual. And that doesn't mean that um, you have been fake or that you haven't been yourself because um, your fears are the seven of hearts that maybe you're giving too much love. But the idea of the king of swords being promising yourself that there is no such thing as too much love. Um, there is only love winning. And with the King of Swords, he is a very cold king because he uses his mind and he doesn't let his emotions influence him. Um, I'm not going to say promise yourself you won't let your emotions influence your your way of living, but I will say that one thing to promise yourself is that you will use your mind in your own benefit. That you will use your mind to affirm to yourself how, how great you are and how you are um, a powerful, loving individual and how if you see something that isn't right, you will use your love to fix it. And that, and maybe you'll use your love in a way that will be cold and um, people might see you as being selfish because you're using your mind to um, give to yourself first before you give to other people. So this is also a card saying, I promise myself that I will give to myself first, that I will um, pay attention to my thoughts and pay attention to what my thoughts are telling me. If my thoughts tell me that I need to back away from this person because they are taking and they're never giving, it might seem cold to people around you, but eventually everybody will understand because love is always gonna win. And um, you have the, the, the third card being past beneficial influence, that card of childhood like imagination and love, that is what has benefit you all your life. And so the last card is card number six for you, Pisces Suns, and it says this will be the result. The five of hearts will be the result. Um, people will be upset when they no longer receive your love, um, but people, but the five of hearts I really feel like um, the result for you is that you will feel upset that people are not are seeming to be upset that you're not giving them your love anymore. But remember the King of Swords and promise yourself with the King of Swords that you will use your mind and that if you need to give again because um, that person is healing, but you need to give in small bout, bouts, like in small spurts. So don't just keep giving because remember with an empty cup you can't give to others. So I really feel with the King of Swords as well being that I promised myself this is that you will use your love for your own mind and that um, you will slowly give love to people when they need it because the king of swords is a is a cold um, person yes with the I promised myself with this with the king of swords it is that you will be cold when you need to be and that you'll be warm when you need to be because with the nine of wands being in the you now position with the nine of wands justice sees both sides and that's the you now is the justice card in the nine of wands it isn't the justice card in the major arcana but there is justice in the nine of wands and it's about using your willpower in little ways to bring justice to the things around you and this will be the result is that you you may feel like you are experiencing heartbreak when you no longer share your love with people who seem to really need it because you are a very caring individual Pisces sons. So you may feel that you are incurring heartbreak, but let yourself um, allow your heart to break for other people because that is truly where your love comes from. Pisces, your your sign is a water sign and it's a it's two fish swimming like the yin and the yang and it's very much about harmony. And so yes, heartbreak has to happen sometimes and it's not like you're a stranger to that and it's not like you don't know that other people are a stranger to that, but it's really about being that nine of wands in the you now position and really using your willpower to become everything that you need to be to be the best version of yourself for yourself and not for anyone else. So that was the Pisces um, 
what am I doing with my life spread for you guys. Bye Pisces.